Well, every now and then we like to bring back a little moment from our morning show to bring a smile to your face. Yes, indeed. And so the moment we want to show you uh, shows the height difference between our Sean Stryker and Marty Bass from yesterday's WJZ Sunday morning show. We have patch, okay? So if I sit here like this, this chair is as high as it goes. I'm sitting next to a guy who's seven foot three inches tall. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I'm just letting you know this. Okay, this chair is up as high as it will go. Okay, so here, here's a look. That ain't gonna matter. You, we, you can put that chair, you can put any chair in the building, Tony, sitting here, and I'm gonna look like a bobblehead next to the striker. It just is what it is. How you doing, pal? I'm doing good. How are you, Marty? Doing real good. What? Okay. <laughs> There's a mathematical equation for that yes, somehow. There is, and it's Sean Stryker is a 20 and Marty is a 10. Yeah. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Let's go to the short well, fella me, now. Well, let me just say this. Stryker's like 8 <laughs> feet 4 inches tall. And his, la his legs True. are only 2 feet long. The rest of it is his upper body. <laughs> Wait Lewis a minute. Ray Lewis would look like a bobblehead next to Stryker. <laughs> And we love Sean. Show, He's one of the great characters in the but It's a no-win situation sitting next to Sean. You're always going to look like you're about that. Hey, listen, this is Prince. We're at Glen Burnie Park Elementary School. Math teacher Sam Beck and Principal Colleen McFarland. Uh, just real quick, this, you've turned this whole school into a pie celebration day. But to be able to take something educational and turn it into fun for the kids, mm -hmm. how big a deal is that? It's huge. You have to make it relevant. You have to make it exciting for the teachers and the students. Okay. Your students, will they respond to this stimulus better than just something? Wouldn't you? Absolutely, absolutely. They what, love it. Was that the stupidest question you've ever been asked? No, no such thing as a stupid question. A, a pure teacher. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what. We did ask questions to some of your students, and you all were sitting in here watching. We asked the very specific question on National Pi Day 314, the, the circumference of a circle? The ratio of the uh, circumference and the diameter of a circle. I'll figure this out before we leave it. We ask him. We'll help you. We ask him what is pi. Take it away. Watch this. Tell me about pi. It's good, and it's brown with seeds, and it you can make it with apple too. Pi is can also be determined as a math related, or can be eaten. I best like pi uh, during. Math, but also I also like it when I eat it because it's really delicious. Um, you can eat it and it's round, and there's also sometimes there's also raspberries in them. So pie is it's a circle. It got it can have cream on it. So pie is like it's round and you can cut it into fours and then you can share with your friends and then like if it's not enough, you can cut it into like tiny pieces and they all get one. Is a pie round? Uh, yeah. Would there be a mathematic equation to describe a round pie? Mm, maybe. Would that equation be called pie? Yes. <laughs> that, was, that was unbelievable. Is this algebra? No, this is not algebra. You know, I gotta stay away from asking teachers. <laughs> but when you get, when you have a staff and you say we're gonna do something like this, is it easy to get everybody to buy into the concept? All in. We are all in, all the time. I mean, teaching is not an easy thing. Um, when you're learning to be a teacher, is there instruction like here's how to captivate the audience? Absolutely not. It's, sure. it's content based, and it's our job as educators to get the kids engaged and excited and wanting them to come to school every day. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm a little shocked that there isn't like uh, an engagement seminar class. Well, they try in, in, in classes that you take in college, but you have to use your own creativity and know your audience and know what your students need. What else do teachers do? What else you have planned today other than treats and everybody's dressed up? The kids are dressed up, the teachers are dressed up. What else you got planned? Well, some teacher today is going to get pied in the face, so. Some, for real? <laughs> Seriously? Hopefully not me. Well, well hopefully, not <laughs> both, hopefully not both of you. I have a little pie in the oven. That, that, I do. that is. That is, uh, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. That is uh, the, the coolest shirt going. Really, really honestly <laughs> is. You. I want to thank the Anne Arundel County Board of Education for helping us out, set this live shot up, uh, really made it happen. You've got a beautiful school. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now tell me what pi is, can just, just real quick, 15 seconds. So pi is the ratio of the circumference and the diameter. 
circumference is around, diameter is across. You know, all I can think of is a basketball because it's March Madness. Do I there pass? There you go. So, <laughs> sure. Yes, absolutely. A plus. I can't wait to hear what she says off camera. Hey, listen, we're going to throw it back to TV Hill. Tomorrow <laughs> we're going to be in one of the most beautiful spaces in maybe all of Maryland. Wow. Ooh. We'll explain. You tune in. All right. We'll be right here. Yes, we right. will. And we will be right here also when we come back.